Your daughter is close to Ford, isn't she? And... How is that relevant to anything? Is she close to my daughter? I wouldn't know. I don't see her much. Just like me and my own daughter. Don't compare my situation with yours. You know it's different. One of Ford's ankles suddenly gave way and he fell over with a thud. Freddy turned to him, scared. Who's there? Whilst the one's attention was diverted, Cassie moves away a little and Yvonne runs around the building. Freddy calls Ford up and runs, pulling Ford after him. Come back here! Where do we even go? Where can we run to? Freddy glances around and sees Cassie standing by her car. Well, Nico's car actually, but she'd borrowed it. Quick! The two of them run to Cassie and get into the back of the car. She puts her foot on the gas before either of them can put their seatbelts on. So, how come you ended up talking to Yvonne? She said she had something on Livy and sent me a note to meet her. She was lying about that, of course, and just wanted to speak to me. Well, no one would want to speak to Yvonne unless she'd given them a threat, or car for that matter. Freddy turns white. Ford looks at him as he finishes his sentence. Where are you two headed to? Um, not sure. What's wrong? I don't want to go home. Because of Rose? No. Then who? Raylan. What? Okay, are you, um... A car goes past him and then stops suddenly. Huh? Louisiana, Alexandria, and Livy get out. Mom, we were looking for Ford. Sorry, Yvonne made an appearance. We had to run from her. You should all come back to mine, though. Sure. Are you sure? Yes, positive. The three girls get back into Livy's car and then follow behind Cassie to the house. Freddy, what was that? Your um, face went very pale in the car. Nothing. That is a lie. Kara scares me. That's not exactly a lie, but that's not the full truth. Kara scares everyone. That's also true. And Yvonne. Well, yes, obviously. Will Raylan apologise to you? How am I supposed to know that? She will. Trust me. And, um, what reason do I have to trust you? Please don't. Okay, I'm sorry for setting Rose's car on fire. I vowed to never play with fire again. Ford, you have to believe me. Kara's the one playing with fire. True. I still can't believe Rhea's father might have played a part in my sister's death. We will get to the bottom of this. I still reckon my mom is hiding something, though. Like what? She knows something about who is after Chloe and why. And how are you going to find out? Well, no more creepy buildings. That's for sure. Um, yes. I just have to retrieve the memories and try and remember what was really bothering her. And what was that? Something about that man. About Yvonne. About my family? Depends who you mean. Wait, what if Ray was involved? No. That would be surprising. Is there anything you're going to rule out? Well, if there's one thing I know, it's that you didn't play a part in it. You wouldn't lay a finger on anyone, not even Kara. Plus, you would have been like four or five. And, well, then, I was grieving the loss of my dad. I mean, I still am, but it hadn't happened that long before it happened to Chloe. Well then, all the more reason to back up the idea that Yvonne was involved. Um, how many people is she going to kill? I won't let her lay a finger on you. She hates my whole family. She's going to go for one of us eventually, and you can't promise that, Freddy. She hates my family, too. At least you're not biologically related to the murderer. Whose phone was that? Mine. What's up? Um, Eve just texted. She told me it's urgent. Something happened and she's at home. Do you want me to come? Who said I was going? Freddy! Fine. The four watches Ford and Freddy leave. Everything is going wrong right now. He needs his friends, Livy. But you don't seem to be paying attention to him whatsoever. What? She has a point. Whatever. Where's Livy? Where's- Ugh. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, hi. How are you so confident? Me? It comes naturally. How though? Well, I've not always been like this. What happened? People didn't like me. Eventually, my parents told me to be proud about who I am, and told me to not worry about what anybody else thought, as that's their choice. I'll admit, 
It took time. Why would people not like you, though? Well, a lot of people haven't liked the fact that I like girls, but they aren't worth it. Oh. Did I say something? No. No, you didn't. I just need to confess something. Nothing surprises me anymore, so please, go ahead. Well, um, I like girls, too, but I also like boys as well. That's awesome! So you're bisexual, and it sounds like no one knows. They don't. Not my parents. And I don't intend to tell them. They're very homophobic. They hate anyone that's different to them, whatever they mean by that. So they'd hate me, basically. Well, yes. They hate most people, actually. They sound strict. They are. They'd hate me if they knew. That's not fair. Well, I know I'll never be able to talk to them about it. They wouldn't understand. You can talk to my friend Livy, though. And most people here are supportive. Are you sure? Of course. No one's ever given me any grief, so they won't give it to you. Thanks. Courtney. B. Well, at least Livy texted to see him safe. Uh, she said that he's quite busy right now, so I'll see him later. Yeah, I suppose. I hope it won't be awkward in his house with both Raylan and Rose. To be honest, Rose is probably annoyed with her for that, too. At least she cares. Yeah. That was my phone. What is it? Mum, she says, I'm not mad at you, Liliana. Please come home. Lena and I need your help. Oh, I wonder what. Wanna come? Sure. There's no use staying here. The two of them exit and head to Amy's house. Lily? Um, what do you need my help with? So, all this time, Freddy had been hiding a large photo album in his drawer. Oh, he has? He knew us two didn't like the pictures, but ever since, like, four years old, he'd been collecting memorable photographs. I found a photograph that was smashed, and, well, many others. I want to do something nice for him. Amy hands Lily on another photo album. Nice in what way? Well, I'm thinking we can redecorate his room and surprise him. He doesn't know about the picture yet. I'm thinking we can get some of these photographs framed and then put them in his room. And, well, sort out his room too. Will he be mad you took the album? Probably, but he won't be when he sees the result. Hopefully he won't be home before then, and then he'll never have to be upset about the photograph. And though he has a copy, if he had seen it before us, he probably wouldn't have said anything because he'd have thought I'd say no. So you want me to help you pick out photographs and clean his room? Yes, you know him best. At least him now. Yes, I know. All right. Do you want me to make sure Freddy stays away from the house? He's with Ford right now. Yes, sounds good. Wait a second. What is it? There's a DVD in the back of the album. What is Freddy doing with a DVD? Leliana doesn't hesitate to push the DVD into the DVD player. Lily. What? The DVD starts playing. Oh, this is when Nate came to our house. Amy. Good morning. Is this your friend? Nate. Pleasure to meet you. Amy. Ted's wife. Likewise. Hey! Nate. My daughter, Liliana. Oh, so this is your friend Nate. We've heard a lot about you. Freddy's drawing in his room right now, I believe. We shouldn't disturb him. He gets a little snappy sometimes. I forgot he used to love drawing. He also used to collect things. I remember some toy cars he collected and some rubber ducks, which is the strangest thing to ever collect, but you know it's Freddy. I remember that. Do we still have his collections? Because if we do, we could put them in his room when we redecorate. If not, we could buy something. Everything's changed, Mum. You want things to go back to how they were, don't you? I can't say no to that, because I do. Dad isn't here anymore, but us three, as well as Lena and Tommy, are. Maybe we could create a new normal. I don't think that'll work. Why not? Because of Freddy. Oh, I just want to be a family again. And, well... Maybe Eve can change his mind. Are you sure about that? Stop holding a grudge against Kara's former friend, Johnny. She's, well, good for Freddy. Has she changed? You should know that better than me. He's always been a quiet person. He tries to keep away from people a lot. That's my brother, all right? I'm slightly worried. About what? Rose's sister. What did she do? Oh, she just doesn't like me. Or Rose, for that matter. But why? Liliana, stop asking questions. How did Yvonne turn out like this? Why didn't she like Nate? Her father was a criminal, remember? Well, Rose isn't a criminal. That's true. She does have a mean streak, though. Well, who knocked on the door? Um, Rose's sister. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, um, hi. Why does she sound nice there? She said, 
Pleasure to meet you. Maybe she does have a good side, but has never shown it. Still, doesn't excuse anything she did. She kidnapped my best friend. Whether she has a good side, I don't care. And she pushed me off a bridge. Yvonne? Oh, so this is her. What do you mean by this is her? Um, well, what has Nate told you about me? N nothing. That's obviously a lie. Don't worry, I'll be back. That didn't sound good. Don't worry about it, Lily. Fine. So, that's when you first met Yvonne, Mum? Yes. And you were there too. I don't remember that. Who knocks on the door when there's a doorbell? Wait, what? Someone just knocked? Um, am I missing something? The video. Someone knocked on the door. And Yvonne was behind that door. Surely that's just a coincidence. Amy double checks the door is locked and then puts something heavy in front of it. Hello? That's my cousin! Oh. Oops. Amy takes a heavy object to win and unlocks the door. Hi. We were paranoid you were Yvonne. Why did you knock? Your doorbell was a little... stuck. Oh. oh. Why are you here? I want to help you, Johnny. Help me with what? Help you take Kara out. What? 